Who's there? It's me, David. I need to talk to you. Well, I don't want to speak with you. You showed me out. You do not need to talk. You need to listen. I am really, truly sorry for what I did to hurt you. It was the only way to get my son back. I thought you said you lost your son. I did lose my son. To your dictator. You know what I'm going to do to you. So why do you struggle? Brandy is right. You are stubborn. And I like that. That's how I converted it. What do you want from me? You are a huge disturbance to my plot. You are the leader of Alpinoma. Not Harold, not Ace. You. Then why did you take Ace away? He's the richest man in Alpanoma. I needed his money for my experiments. Why are you here? I should be asking you that. Why are you here? Bailey, she... It was you, David Anderson. You brought yourself here. You set up your own trap. If I set up my own trap, then I can get myself out of it. Good luck with that. You see, once you set yourself up in your own trap, it's my choice inside whether you get a root out of it. That's the policy. And that's the policy that America set up when I became your leader. It's my turn to ask you a question. Why do you wear a mask? Are you afraid of your own trap? Are you afraid to face the world with your true face? I don't fear anything, David. Except for what America was like before I came. You people were full of problems then. Look at what I gave the country. I gave the country complete freedom and choice of life. You gave the country only one choice, and that was to follow you with no argument. That's true. But why did I find five cities building up revolution in secret? I warned you and your people of this country that if you chose to disobey me, then death is your destiny. Then why haven't you killed us already? I am trying to find your weak points in Alpanoma. You people seriously have been taking this revolution deal very gravely. When you find trouble, which is extremely rare for you, you stop it immediately. However, when you find the Spetsnaz entering, it was harder for you to stop the trouble at that very second. Why? It caught us off guard. Just like how I caught you off guard. And you will die. Then I suggest you kill me before I become another roadblock to your scheme. It is not my duty. Yet. I'll leave that up to Brandy. It is May 28th, 2020. This afternoon, Brandy, Gorchicha, the Spetsnaz, and I will unleash a poison toxin into the city. Your reinforcements are coming. Why are you doing this? I warned you eight years ago not to interfere with rebuilding America. I said that whosoever dares to rebuild America would be killed. Do you want to know why? Because by your actions, which become real through your thoughts and feelings, 
is showing me that you are not willing to accept this new country. You are showing me that you do not want to live by my rule. This country does not need citizens like you, David Anderson. Because of your example, you will be the last one to die in this intelligent city. You will watch your beloved city fall apart. And Brandy will make you suffer as he has suffered. You belong in hell. You are right. However, where is hell? There is no hell. The only hell that ever existed was what America built for itself before 2012. We only have 12 hours till the school puts on their biggest performance. Some of Brandy's followers will wait here until Spencer Plum, Jonathan Green, and Mallory Peacock arrive. Meanwhile, Tortica, myself, and the Spetsnaz will raid the school. What about my son Ethan? When will you let him go? The, the deal, deal is that was that you could have your son back as soon as the city was under my control. No, the deal was if I brought David to Brandy, then I could have my son back. Well, Bailey, you will not regain your son's freedom until his clones have done what they've sworn to do. And as soon as they have done that, and as soon as Alpanoma, the last revolutionizing city in America, is taken out, then, and only then, will you regain your son's freedom. Then can you at least release him from that awful dungeon? I can't bear hearing him scream every time one of his clone dies. Miss Scarlet, your son will not be freed until- Until what, Trevius? When I came aboard of this operation 10 years ago, I did not expect to be working with a Russian. I did not expect to be working with a Polish model. Well, guess what, Mustard? You are. I have the right to free my son from torture. I did not agree to allow him to become a clone. Woman, you will not speak to me like that! You have been around David too much. You are becoming more like him. You knew that when you came on board, that you would have to sacrifice something or someone you loved. You put my son through this mustard, not I! You will not yell at me, Scarlet. You will not interact with David to come up with a scheme to free your son and the citizens of Alpinoma! <laughs> if you dare harm her, I will bring the harm of these clones on you. I need her alive and you do too. Put your arm down, Gorchitsa. Are we ready to go? Remove the last of the radioactive waste from Ace's furniture. Conceal the furniture afterwards. Take a fourth of the waste and set them up at the gate. Kill all in your path. Half of Brandy's followers will take a fourth of the waste, set them up in cars, rig the blow. The other half will wait here. Make sure that Ethan will follow his demands. You, Scarlet, Brandy, the Spetsnaz, and I will enter the school at 1.30 p.m. with the last of the radioactive waste. Mother. Mother. I will not leave you here to suffer as I have suffered. I promise I will free you from this awful bond of the devil. Ethan, I will not risk your death as I have risked your father's passing. I will not fail you, I promise. I will not fail you, I promise. You truly are like your father, Ethan. David, what have I done to you?